So the turning 67 market is people turning 67 or older, generally up to age 80, although that's somewhat flexible depending on what the agent likes to work. And what you're trying to target in the turning 67 market are people who have already had Medicare for a while. They've had it typically since 65. They've even had a Medicare supplement up to that point. But they've gotten to the point now where they've had the supplement at minimum close to two years, sometimes longer, and they've had incremental price increases. They've not really used the Medicare supplement all that much, and they understand the first time they had the price increase, but now the second time it's coming around, it's typically much higher than they were comfortable with, and they're not necessarily too pleased about it either. Why? Well, they probably have never used the supplement. And they, no senior, ask any senior on a fixed income, does not like paying more for something, especially if it's unused. There's a fixed income mentality that you'll learn to appreciate if you sell into the senior marketplace. Paid once a month, even if they're on a middle class type of income, uh, people become very particular about the kind of money they spend and what they spend it on when they're retired. So the strategy here is to target these people that have experienced price increase increases. You can target them any time of year. Medicare supplements are something that, unlike Medicare Advantage, you can flip people out of any time of year as long as they can medically qualify. And the great thing about the Medicare supplement market is that the government essentially has standardized all Medicare supplements so that despite if you're with company A versus company B, even if they're completely different companies, the products that are offering all are standardized. So if someone has what's called a Plan F, which is like the Cadillac plan, it covers everything, the Plan F compared to another company ex pays exactly the same way. There's absolutely no difference at all, with one exception, and that's the price. The price that is paid or the premium that is paid to the client. Now, the beauty of all this is that essentially what we're dealing with as a sales agent is we're dealing with a commodity product, okay? So a commodity product meaning is that it doesn't matter which company it's with, uh, why pay more when you don't have to? And sometimes you'll see seniors who are literally paying hundreds upon hundreds of dollars more a year for their insurance, for the Medicare supplements when they don't have to. So the strategy is very simple. Uh, as far as the sales strategy, your job is to go in just like in any sales process, build rapport and trust, uh, health qualify them. They may not qualify for the product because there is some underwriting associated with it. And then demonstrate through your presentation that this product, the Medicare supplement, even if it's with a name brand company, is essentially at the end of the day, according to the government, if you look in the Medicare and you handbook, as we all know, who sell Medicare supplements, it states this clearly, that their product is a commodity. And it doesn't matter which company you deal with, you're literally getting the same thing with any companies. The only difference being do you want to pay more or not? And uh, making that sale based off of the demonstration of your knowledge, your confidence in how it works, and showing not just telling, but showing them that this is how it works and here's the benefits to it. So that's it in a nutshell. Now, um, the lead generation process along with this is very simple too. The sales process is a, um, generally speaking, we find a lot of people in the turning 67 market, they'll use direct mail leads or they'll use telemarketed leads. Sometimes they can self-generate their own telemarketed leads. Those actually work fairly well, or they're outsourced to others to generate. Um, you can sell this face-to-face. -face. That's the method I prefer to teach agents. Tends to be a little bit easier to manage. Or you can sell over the phone. A lot of successful Medicare supplement producers sell over the phone. Um, I think it is a product that is built to be sell to, sold over the phone to some extent, although I think face-to-face -face is just the, generally the easiest way to approach this business. So that's Medicare, and it's a repeatable rinse, re repeat and rinse business. It's a product in which is, is a numbers-based business. Uh, you just, the more you present, the more you're going to sell.